Brando, I finna slam dunk. Get big on you fake pumps. That bump in the fake pump. Bitch, fell for the pump fake. Got him talking like first take. Get it right on the first take. Hit the hole in the first. Bruh, um, moving on from basketball a little bit. How do you feel about these celebrity boxing matches? I think it's great. For real? Hell yeah. Did you watch the. Um, you should do one. Hell yeah, you and Maine. Boy, I pay to see that shit. Me and Maine? Hell yeah. Why the fuck you want to see us box? That shit be funny. <laughs> Why? What's funny about that? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? Boy, that shit be funny as hell. Bro, what would be funny about being main boxing? Bro, trust me. You and main boxing against each other. Boy, that shit be funny as fuck, boy. Y'all. <laughs> boy. Who you got your money on, me or main? I'm going to give you just because you're taller, bro. And you got the size. I'm going to give it to you. That's it? I don't know. I ain't never seen anyone y'all do anything. Mm. That shit going to be funny, boy. <laughs> So what you think is gonna go the distance? Or I'm gonna knock him out. I ain't never seen either one of y'all. I'm just gonna, I just been winning just because of the size, because of the size, and I ain't never seen either one of y'all. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to the big man. But we, yeah, we need to set that shit up. Slim versus man. I be the referee. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, the undercard got to be you versus Damo. I ain't finna do that. Damo. <laughs> <laughs> ah, hey, if me, if me and Main got a box, you and Double got a box. Nah, I ain't finna do that double, man. Why? Come on, man. I ain't finna do double like that, man. You <laughs> funny, bro. You got to, bro. No, nah, man. you want you want me and Main to box? You and Double got a goddamn box, bro. Nah, I ain't finna do double like you. Funny though. You funny. <laughs> Oh, that shit funny, boy. I definitely got to make a clip out of that shit. That shit hilarious. But nah, who you got, though? You got Mayweather or you got uh, Logan Paul? Is that serious? Is that a serious question, bro? I got to ask the questions here, dog. <sighs> bro, you know who I got, bro. And I'm, I'm probably going to bet. Stop playing with my top. That's I'm a, what Jake Paul told. I'm, I'm uh, probably going to bet some money on that, too, because I'm going to tell you, bro, if you want to flip some money, bet on Floyd Mayweather. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, you gotta, dog. Uh, you gotta uh, bet a lot though to get a return. Really? Yeah. I never bet it. So tell me how that works. So if I put five hundred dollars on Floyd Mayweather, how much would I get? Probably not gonna win shit at all. You probably gonna win like fifty dollars mm. because it it's all about the odds too, and he's gonna be the favorite by like a million points. So you saying I should bet like a dollar on Jake Paul and bet like and bet like. I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah. I don't recommend anyone bet on a celebrity boxing match, especially the shit that I've seen with Tyson and uh, Roy Jones, because that was the most pathetic shit I've ever seen in my life, me personally. But I will tell you this. If there's if if there's a fight, right, kind of like let's do Mike Tyson versus Buster uh, Douglas back in the day, right? If you was a millionaire and you had $100,000, just to play with, to joke around with, like you said earlier, because you thought it was funny, put your money on Buster Douglas. Mike Tyson is the favorite by, let's say, 50 point, a 50 point spread type shit. I know this is boxing, not basketball, but I'm just making up some shit, right? You put $100,000 on Buster Douglas. Everybody got their money on fucking Mike Tyson. You just made a fucking million and a half dollars. And Buster Douglas did beat the shit out of Mike Tyson. So, so how much I got to bet on Floyd, man, when he fight Jake Paul? Bro, he, Floyd is going to be the favorite by a lot. So it doesn't matter how much you put on Floyd. You're not going to win that much. Mm. He's the favorite. Well, I mean, I guess. But, yeah, man, uh, Floyd going to win that shit, man. He gonna, he ain't gonna, I don't know. I don't think he's going to beat the shit out of him. Nah, he's going to beat the shit out of him. You think so? He's, nah, he's <laughs> Um, he's gonna do the same thing to him that he did to Connor. He's gonna toy with this nigga for a couple rounds. Then when he got down, get hit, he gonna get angry because Connor hit Floyd, and Floyd got mad as fuck. That was around like the fifth round, and Floyd <laughs> knocked his ass out in the sixth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's gonna do the same thing to this little kid. So you so say you hit Floyd, he gonna get mad and beat your ass. Yeah, <laughs> he don't like get hit because Floyd was playing around the whole fight, and then Connor really hit his ass. And that nigga got mad as hell. Um, uh, Logan's brother, Jake, 
called out Conor McGregor today. His team sent Conor McGregor a check for $50 million to fight him. Conor's never got paid that much money. He made, I think, $10, $10 million to fight Floyd. That was his biggest payday at that time. Damn, for real? And they offered him $50 million to fight Damn, Jake Paul. Damn, bro. The same YouTuber that knocked out uh, Nate Robinson. Damn, bro. And that nigga was talking. That nigga fucking Jake Paul was talking cash shit. He was like, he was like, bro, you 0-1 as a, as, a, as a boxer. I'm 2-0. What's up? Bro, I got to play it for you, bro. I'm about to play it for you, Blue. You about to be like, what the fuck? Here it come, Blue. Fuck is up, you Irish cunt. Good morning, Conor McGregor. I know you're probably beating up old dudes in a bar right now, or maybe you're jacking off because you're sick of fucking your wife. I mean, she's a four, Conor. You could do a lot better, but happy Monday. My team sent you a $50 million offer this morning. $50 million cash, proof of funds. flexing hard. The biggest fight offer you've ever How you get his money, bro? You're scared to yeah, fight you, Conor. He became a million off a YouTuber like that? YouTuber. You're all in one as a boxer. He got I'm two and all as a boxer. I just came off the eighth biggest pay-per-view event in history. But you want to fight Dustin Prober, who has less followers on Instagram than my fucking dog. That's a fact. And Dana White, you're a fucking pussy too, you ugly fucking bald bitch. You said there's zero percent chance of this fight happening, but there's zero percent chance of you getting some fucking pussy. Connor, you're scared. <laughs> <laughs> you're scared. Sign the fucking contract, you idiots. Jesus fucking Christ. Irish bitch. Fuck these guys. What the fuck? <laughs> so how you feel? How you feeling, Blue? Hey, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I fuck with Connor. He one of my favorite UFC fighters, but that energy that Jake bringing, I might gotta fuck with Jake on this shit. That nigga not playing, bro. And that nigga said Connor wife ugly as fuck. <laughs> Jake finger his ass beat. <laughs> bad too. <man. laughs> hey, he about to get beat up so bad, Blue. <laughs> this shit about to be head ass, bro. Why you even playing with that nigga like that, bro? Come on, man. What's wrong with that nigga? Bro, that shit about to be the worst beating of all times. Kind of about to look at that shit and be like, nigga, yeah. for $50 million, I will mop the fucking floor in blood with your ass. Yeah. $50 million? Yeah. Connor ain't never had no money like that before. And Connor love money. Connor's taking that fight, and he's going to beat the shit out of that dog. He's going to beat him bad. I don't give a fuck if it's just boxing. He's going to beat his ass, bro, for $50 million? Come on now. Stop playing. Connor's taking that fight. And Dana White tripping, too. Dana White should have been signed that contract. $50 million, bro, to fight a fucking YouTuber? I fight his ass. When you fight his ass? What, nigga? I ain't, I ain't going to lie. I'm out of shape right now, so he'll beat the shit out of me right now. So you saying you want to fight his ass for 50 Oh, no, nah, I will. Okay. <laughs> hey, you just go out there and get your But ass. I got to win, hey, though, bro. you go out there and get your ass. Please. Yeah, right now. If they call me, if they call me, told me I had to fight tomorrow. You go out there and get your ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bro, if they called me tomorrow and said yeah. they got $1,000 for me to come fight him, I'm going <laughs> to get your ass. <laughs> go get your ass before a quick bed. $1,000? Yeah. I'm in that bitch duking, nigga. Yeah. I'm going to try to win. I'm going to dance around for like a round or two. The third round, goddamn, I'm going to see where he at with it. I'm going to try to goddamn get right, but I'm probably going to be tired as hell. But if you give me some time to train and, and, and get in shape, I definitely beat his ass. But he big, though, bro. How big is he? He's 6'1". Yeah, yeah, he right. He is bigger than Conor McGregor. Yeah. But you know what? Conor McGregor going to beat that boy. I ain't going to lie to you. Yeah, Conor. I'm, I'm going to tell, tell you. Animal. Let me tell you how I know Conor McGregor going to beat that boy. It's because... Nothing against YouTubers, but that motherfucker's a YouTuber. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nothing against YouTubers, but that motherfucker's a YouTuber. This motherfucker, Conor McGregor, is a professional UFC fighter. Let me that tell nigga's you, an animal, too. Let me tell you about the... the this is a professional UFC fighter that's like... He like a professional f professional. Let me tell you about the amateur UFC fighters. I don't met these niggas. I met an amateur UFC nigga and. This nigga asked me to go ride bikes with him, and on his trail, right? Mm -hmm. I said, "How long was the trail?" He said, 10 miles down and ten miles back." Twenty fucking miles. That's not that bad, Blue. I keep telling you on a bike, that's not bad. You don't think so? No, nah, it's not, bro. I don't give a fuck what you say. Twenty fucking miles is a lot. It's a long ass time. Not really. And then he was telling. And then he. Then he. Then. He was saying that 
Some days we could run ten miles. Oh no! Nah, five nah, miles down, five miles back. That's a lot. Yeah, yeah that, that's the USC shit, bro. Every USC motherfucker I ever met in my life, and these ain't even real USC motherfuckers. These is wanna be USC motherfuckers. They train like a motherfucker. This nigga Jake Paul is not running ten miles, bro. I guarantee you that. <laughs> you feel me? I don't know, bro. Jake, Jake in shape, bro. See, and she, and, uh, you don't dude, know him, dog. This is you don't realize. He in shape, This is you don't realize, bro. Running five miles is in shape. Yeah. Running four miles is in shape. These, but Jake in shape, these, in shape. These UFC. UFC. Bro, he been training, Let bro. me tell you, bro. You know what UFC niggas do, bro? UFC niggas lose 20 pounds in one day. You feel me? That's how that's how they train, bro. They can lose twenty pounds in one day. It's it's UFC niggas, bro, who will lose twenty pounds in one day the day before they fight, so that they can weigh more before, bro, bro. This nigga right there in that picture ain't have shit on me not one day in college. All right. Oh, you one of them type niggas. I'm just what, what I'm telling you is, bro. What about right now? Yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He more fit. <laughs> but you could you not but he not fighting me. He fighting UFC niggas. Like real UFC niggas. And I'm trying to tell you, bro, these niggas on a whole nother level, bro. These niggas like workout warriors. For real, for real. They 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 work out like a motherfucker, bro. So you don't think it's a swinging chance in hell he can beat Connor? No, he finna get his ass whooped. <laughs> <laughs> Knockout or it's gonna go to distance. Jake, he better hope he get knocked out. You know what I'm saying? He, yeah. he finna get his ass beat. You feel me? He fought. Just because he knocked out a five foot nine basketball player who don't take boxing serious, who didn't train, you think he got a chance of beating a real fucking professional, bro? I got to ask these questions. Okay, I got you. Mm. With that being said, no, he finna get his ass beat. He gonna make some money. But he finna get his ass beat. Connor about to make fifty million, nigga. Oh yeah. I ain't gonna lie to all, but um, in closing, as far as this whole topic, you know, I really fuck with the uh, sport of boxing. Um, I'm not a real big UFC fan, but I dibble and dabble with it. I do think the celebrity uh boxing shit is gonna fuck up. Um, real boxing. Yeah, it's gonna fuck up the culture of boxing because I was just watching that Earl Spence and uh Danny Garcia gonna, fight I, the other day. I'd rather watch you. Fight Maine Then watch the professional boxers I'm I know. like a lot yeah. And that's And that's <laughs> That's, that's gonna, gonna fuck, fuck it up Yeah It's gonna fuck it up Cause bro. It, really we, it ain't about who, who who the best to fight We just wanna see Y'all niggas fight You know what I'm saying Bro, this nigga <laughs> Yeah This nigga um, Floyd Mayweather Can come out of retirement Right now Yeah And he can fight Canelo Or he can fight Manny Pacquiao And I'm willing to bet I'm willing to bet right now on camera. I'm willing to bet a hundred dollars that if Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao fought for the second time the same day as Little Bow Wow and Soldier Boy, Bow Wow and Soldier Boy have more uh, streams. Facts. <laughs> Facts. And that shit is not cool, Facts. bro. That shit is not cool. All I'm not saying is, like you need that. to set up that message you in Maine, bro. I'm, I'm trying. Bro, to you want me in Maine to fight for real, bro? That shit gonna. Be Why hard. you want us to fight? We ain't never beef before. I know that's just gonna make it even funnier, boy. That shit gonna be hilarious, bro. Why would we fight though? <laughs> just <for> my entertainment. <laughs> <laughs <laughs> what you gonna call the fight? Podcast wars. That's a good question, bro. That's a good question. But I want to be the referee. So you're going to be like Mike Tyson refereeing with uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin and Shawn Michaels back in the day. I'm going to be like, I'm going to be like John Blue refereeing Slim and Maine. <laughs> this shit going to be wild. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. This nigga Blue will not give this shit up. This nigga wants to goddamn referee the Maine versus Slim fight. Thanks. Oh, that shit gonna be lit. <laughs> so who gonna referee you versus number? Bruh, chill, man. <laughs> no, nah, man. If yeah. I gotta fight Maine, you gotta fight Dumbo. No. 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 Hey, get Dumbo Quay to fight. <laughs> <laughs> so Dumbo versus Quay? Dumbo versus Quay, boy. <laughs> boy, that shit gonna be fun as hell too, boy. Who you got your money on? Dumbo or Quay? <laughs> Bruh, it's- I don't know, man. I got Quay. You got Quay. Yeah, I <laughs> you got, got Quay. Quay. <laughs>
Only because Damo just too soft. Hell, man. I Dom, got Clay. Damo be turning up, huh? Mm-hmm. Turning them goddamn cans up. <laughs> That's what he be turning up. Turn them goddamn cans up to his fucking face. Hey, if you enjoyed this clip, you can check out the full episode on www.patreon.com backslash sitdownslim. And you can also get some more exclusive podcasts that only drop on Patreon. And also check out the website, shotswithslim.com, to support the channel and cop some merch, man. Appreciate y'all for listening, man.